Good news for your <laughs> April. Yeah, I'm not going to talk about the heat for one second for the next minute and a half. Tonight we have the buck moon rising. It's going to be crazy. You're going to see the moon come up and a deer's head is going to be in the moon. All right, obviously I'm just kidding, but the reason that the full July moon has its name is that it's a time of the year where the antlers on the deer grow very, very quickly. So that's why the July full moon is called the buck moon. But yeah, that will rise tonight. We're not expecting much in the way of cloud cover in the valley. So it should be pretty good views of that, especially later in the evening. Now, when we talk about full moons, this is not just the buck moon that this applies to. This applies to all full moons. You need the moon to be on the opposite side of the Earth from the sun, and that's what we have tonight. Also very interesting, this time of year, of course, the sun, the July sun, that has a high arc in the sky, right? But the opposite is true of a full moon. So the July full moon has a very low arc in the sky, so you're going to have to look kind of at a low angle uh, towards the horizon when you try to check out that buck moon tonight. Now let's shift gears here. Let's talk about the Perseids meteor showers. Those are going to peak next month. Here is a picture from California. This is from last year. But when we look at the timeline, technically they're going to be active from July 17th to August 23rd, but they will peak the night of August 12th and August 13th. There's one problem though, or one slight issue. During that time when they peak, August 12th to August 13th, we will be looking at a waning gibbous moon. What's that? Well, it's not quite full, but it is a moon that is almost full. So you're going to need a piece of paper or maybe you need to look away from the moonlight to try to get a good view of that as we head into August.